What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, talking today about the business of YouTube, because to be perfectly honest, I'm incredibly angry. There is some stuff that happens in this industry that just drives me nuts, and the biggest thing is definitely sponsored content. Now let me just be clear about something right up front, I don't care about other people doing sponsored videos. Yes, I know that some of my friends who are YouTubers will you know, do all sorts of like ad reads for Audible or, or talk about to raid shadow legends but a question i get a lot is people saying dreamcast guy how come you've never sold out i've still never done a single sponsored video as you know i literally sleep on the floor i could probably get a casper mattress if i wanted i don't have one of those fancy gaming racing chairs that every streamer has i literally still sit in this thing that i paid five dollars for seven years ago and there's a reason for that and i want to talk about it today because to be honest, I'm so annoyed about a particular aspect of being a YouTuber, which is that these companies, uh, they're just so messed up. Uh, uh, to be perfectly honest, some of the stuff that comes in my email, these companies straight up try to bribe for a good review. Some of these people straight up say, we're just wanting to pay you X amount of thousands of dollars sometimes to say something nice about our game. And it's annoying to me because I enjoy reviews. I enjoy writing these scripts. I enjoy beating games. The whole reason I became a YouTuber wasn't to try and be rich and famous. I'm probably never gonna own a house. I'm always gonna have roommates. I'm always gonna be eating ramen. But I enjoy reviewing games more than anything else on the planet. That is literally why I get out of bed in the morning. Is like right now I'm working on two big reviews and I'm thrilled about it. It's extremely fun. And it gets so annoying to me that so many of these companies think that they can just purchase me like a product. Now, this week I actually thought about doing a sponsorship for the first time ever. This company reached out, they actually have a really good game, they sent it over, it's currently in beta. I, I don't want to mention the name of the game because it is actually good, and I don't want to slander the developers because it was their stupid PR team that ruined all this. But basically they said, hey, we have this beta game, it's coming to free to play soon, do you want to play it? It's on PlayStation 4 and Switch, play it for a couple days, we'll pay you like, you know, X amount of dollars, that way you can upgrade your PC setup, uh, because they know my PC is really, really outdated. I thought this was a good deal, I spent a couple days playing it, and I honestly had a really good time playing it, so I started writing together, like, my video for it, and then, after spending about, about 15 hours working on this video, they sent over some guidelines that basically said, alright, here's the specific rules, and now here's why I'm specifically mad. Do I even want to show this? I'll, I'll flash it on the screen here. They basically sent me over a very, very detailed set of rules that said that I had to directly tell you guys to download the game. Like, straight up, I had to, like, be a salesman for their product. I had to make the video 10 minutes. I wasn't allowed to say anything critical of the game at all. I had to show them, like, they basically wanted me to make a commercial. And that kind of stuff drives me nuts because... Honestly, the big reason I think this channel has done as well as it has, and this is just my own speculation, is because of the game reviews. I think that people really kind of appreciate the fact that I'm not a professional. I'm not a journalist. I've still never gone to a single day of college. I have no writing classes. I mean, straight up, I'm just a gamer who happens to like to talk about games. I think the fact that I'm such a normal dude makes the reviews interesting to people. It's like, a, you know, it's it's just one man's opinion. And uh, people disagree with me constantly. People get mad about some of my, like, uh, opinions. People get upset about certain things I said about games. But I think that people still can kind of respect the fact that I'm just some random dude, you know? Like, I don't claim to be Mr. Big Shot. I am an absolute nobody who sleeps on the floor. And honestly, I think I deserve to sleep on the floor because I'm just a nobody. So the fact that they're trying to come to me and straight up purchase my opinion, the fact that they're coming in here and basically saying, you're just a billboard for our product, that is what drives me the most nuts. 
I despise the sponsored gaming content because to me, it feels different from typical ads. A lot of times the reason I don't do them, and once again, I don't get upset about my friends doing them, they obviously have some bills to pay. Some people do sponsorships and stuff because they have a family, they have a mortgage, they've, you know, they're trying to feed their friends and stuff. Like, I'm nobody. I, I have no one. I'm alone in life. I don't need money, you know, like I'm paying my bills, I'm happy to be streaming, I'm happy that I even had this really cool microphone thanks to donations by fans. I get annoyed about the fact that sponsored gaming content seems to be trying to break down the basis of a good review. It feels so weird to have a company approach me and say, hey, you've done hundreds and hundreds of your uh, brutally honest game reviews, well how about you lie for us? Because that's what this feels like. The game that they were trying to get me to do the sponsorship for is decent. It, I mean, I had a great time with it. It was super cool. I recorded hours and hours of gameplay, of having fun with it, but it's not perfect. It, it had flaws. Every game has flaws, pretty much. So the fact that I was able to just talk about the game and say the good and bad about it wasn't enough for them. They wanted it to be me just basically being paid to lie about the game, to act like something that's great is suddenly perfect. My big issue, and the reason I'm never going to take up a sponsorship, even if it's very detrimental to me, is that I think that it would hurt the channel. If I'm just being really genuinely clear here, I think that the reason the channel has grown in the first place is the fact that you guys always know it's my opinion. These are always my facts. These are always my own personal truth trying to explain what's good about this game. I make it a point to never ask you to buy anything. I don't ever say, rush out and buy this game. Or I try my best not to say that, because in my opinion, every game is not for everybody. Even if I love the Final Fantasy VII Remake, or even if I really don't care for that really crappy Marvel Avengers game, maybe you will love them. Maybe you will hate them. But I'm certainly not going to take a paycheck in order to tell you how amazing it is if I downright know it sucks. Sponsorships are a delicate issue. I know a lot of people get upset by them, but what's really been strange is that I've had more people over the course of the last couple months telling me I should take some sort of sponsorship, demanding that if I were a real YouTuber, I need to start taking on these brand deals. I don't think I'm ever going to do it, even if it does kind of screw me over in the long run. I would rather try and make my money just on putting out big content. If you guys ever want to actually support me the most, like if you're ever watching my videos and you're like, Dreamcast guy, I want to support your content in a more next level way, just like the videos. If you like the videos, if you leave a comment, if you subscribe, that makes stuff spread. That helps me out. That's all I need. Straight up, that is all I need. Thank you everybody who's been helping out the channel. We are getting close to 200,000 subscribers and I'm very proud to say that everything, all of this, the camera, this computer, my monitors, this crappy webcam, all of this has been bought purely because of y'all's support. Sharing videos, telling me when I do something wrong and helping me improve, just supporting my work. I've done all of this without any sponsorships and you're damn right it's going to stay that way. This has just been an off-the-cuff talk because, honestly, I'm frustrated that I wasted some, you know, part of my work week talking to these crappy freaking things. If you are a freaking developer and you're watching this video, don't ask me to sponsor your game. I don't care how freaking great it is, just send me a review code. If it's a good game, it'll get a good video. It's as plain as that. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. <sighs> Okay, well, glad I got that out of my system. You guys rock, keep dreaming, and have a great weekend, all right? All right, now I gotta get back to working on my top secret reviews. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you wanna see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last, or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.